Welcome back. So a slightly beaten box, but I've got the 2025 Acer Chromebook Plus 516 to show you. It's a mid-range clamshell large 16-inch Chromebook Plus model. The one I have is technically the entry-level spec option in the range with the Intel Core 3 100U processor, 8GB of low-power DDR5 RAM and 128GB of universal flash storage. In the UK right now, we're seeing popular options with the similar 13th gen Core i3 and i5 processors. There's some nice deals at Amazon right now, particularly as today it's their prime big sales days check the pinned comment for my affiliate links as usual and we've also got other retailers here in the uk stocking this one we'll cover more on the spec and model options as we take a more detailed look at this particular one which itself is an engineering sample sent to me on loan but as usual all the views are my own so to help give you some perspective on this large 16 inch Chromebook, let's bring in the Acer Chromebook Plus 514. So very much a smaller 14 inch model, as we see there's a lot of similarities. And you can get an idea, it's not ridiculously larger, the 516, but obviously it has got a full two inches more of real estate on that display. And we'll see what that means for the keyboard deck and the rest of the build in just a minute. Also interesting that the color for both of these is stated as iron by Acer. But in my mind, you can see that the 514 on the left here is a slightly different shade. That's probably largely due to it having an aluminium lid as well, whereas the 516 here, unfortunately, just has a plastic lid. It does feel pretty well put together for an all plastic build. It's got the rounded corners again on the sides, just that slightly um, shaped edge on the rear corner for the hinge. But yeah, feeling okay, a, a little bit of flex perhaps, but then that's going to be normal as you get to these larger sizes of Chromebooks. Just a shame again about the lid being plastic, not aluminium, but certainly not the end of the world there. Weight-wise, Acer say these are 1.7 kg, that's about 3.75 pounds. I've actually just weighed this one in and it came in a little under that for me, so I'd say that's pretty impressive. If you remember back to the 17 inch Acer Chromebook 317, that had a 16 by nine aspect ratio display, so slightly wider, but that one weighed considerably more, so 2.15 kg when I weighed it in, which is about 4.74 pounds. So I think what Acer have done here in a 16 inch format is actually pretty impressive. For ports and connectivity, it's looking like a fair setup and it replicates what we've seen on that Chromebook Plus 514. So starting on the left, there's dual USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 ports. Great having two of them, they're just a shame they're both on the same side, so much more convenient to charge if they're on either side. We've got the first of two full-size USB-A ports, a headphone microphone combo jack and the charge power LED. On the right hand side you've got a second full size USB-A port, an HDMI 1.4B port and a Kensington Nano port for if you need to lock this one down. This particular model has Wi-Fi 6 but Wi-Fi 7 is an option on the range to watch for and I believe it's Bluetooth 5.3. On the bottom of the Chromebook, there is a grill and ventilation for the processor's fan. On the bottom front edge, there's a third microphone as well, much like we saw on the Chromebook Plus 514. Let me get this all in shot for you and just show you that opening up the Chromebook, the display does go back 180 degrees against the body. Checking out the keyboard deck, Acer obviously have had a lot of space to play with here. You've got this really large speaker grill at the top that really stands out. I'll check out the sound quality and detail that in my full review when I publish it. At the bottom, you've got this really large, smooth Ocean Glass branded touchpad. So as usual, it's called Ocean Glass, but it's not actually glass, it's ocean bound plastic. But really, Acer have nailed these. This is feeling quality. I can already tell that it's well seated and that's gonna be nice to use. The larger size has also allowed the number pad to be incorporated on the side here, even though it is a bit of a tighter, smaller layout for a number pad. And being a 2025 Chromebook, we've got the quick insert key rather than the old launcher over on the left. And then you've got the new G branded launcher key on the bottom row. So yeah, really nice looking keyboard deck. I think it's gonna be nice to use. For key travel, it's feeling like it's gonna be pretty responsive, that medium to deeper key travel, but not quite as deep or not quite the same feeling as you get on the 514. You may have also noticed I've got the split enter key because this is a US model with a US keyboard layout. I believe all UK retail models are gonna have the full size enter key that we're used to. 
There is also an option for a backlit keyboard. Sadly, this model doesn't have it, but it looks to me like most of them will. We'll just double check as usual. I'm gonna get the Chromebook set up with my test user now so we can take a first look at performance and a look at this display. And I'll also take you through the main model specs available on this 516. So in a minute, I'll recap the main spec and take you through the model options on this lineup. Although I've got what seems to be the entry level spec here from a brief bit of browsing and gaming, just my initial impressions, I'm not feeling compromised in any way. I've had that CPU, the Core 300U in other Chromebooks, and you can find the equivalent Core 5 and Core 7 options available too. But you'll also find some that come with the very similar 13th gen Core i3, i5 and i7 processors. Chrome OS updates on this one are through to June 2033. For graphics, some will have the Intel Iris Xe graphics, others like mine have the standard Intel UHD graphics. I've got 8 gig of low power DDR5 RAM on this one, but again there's options with up to 16 gig to look out for, but I can't see any for sale in the UK right now. For storage, I've got the base storage option being 128 gig of universal flash storage. You can step that up to either a 256 or 512 gig SSD. And because it's a Chromebook Plus, you'll not only benefit from the hardware, but also from the software exclusives like I'm showing you here. I'll link you off to another video if you want to learn more about Chromebook Plus. And that large 16 inch IPS display is looking decent. So as mentioned, it's taller because it's in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's running a WUXGA resolution. So that means 1920 by 1200. And it looks pretty bright to me. It's got a claim brightness of 300 nits in more of a matte finish. The color reproduction is good to my eye, but it's nothing special. They say it should cover around 45% of the NTSC color space. There is an optional touch display too that I don't have here. I believe that's going to be the CB5161HT model line. I think the bezels look pretty reasonable too. And in the top one, you'll find the full HD webcam and it's got that new design of the privacy slider like we saw on the 516. Again, pretty easy to operate. I like that. I just think it should have been on the right hand side so you don't reach over the lens to operate it. Thanks if you're still watching, hopefully it means the video's worth a like, and an even bigger thanks for helping the channel reach 10,000 subscribers this week. It really does mean a lot. Let me know in the comments if you like larger Chromebooks like this Acer Chromebook Plus 516. You can check out the older 17.3 inch Acer Chromebook 317 on the video in the left of your screen now. Otherwise, the video on the right of your screen is the YouTube algorithm's choice. Cheers.